Hi everyone! Hello! So we're back today with another video and we thought we'd keep this one topical. Okay. Um, yes. Because it's Father's Day coming up and this is a big time for gifting of perfume and it can be a bit tricky. To, it's tricky to buy anyone a scent really because it's such a personal thing. And it's tricky to buy men anything. I would yeah. say combined with the fact that it's quite hard to buy perfume for people because it's personal and it's quite hard to buy for men in general, we thought we'd give you some help. Yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna try and help you with some ideas. What we thought we'd do is um, look at different personalities of yeah. men. It's a little bit like stereotypical, it is a little um, but it might give you some ideas so that we don't show you lots of fragrances that are all along the same yeah. thread. Um, so should I get started? Yeah, so yeah. I think you should tell us about a classic dad. Classic okay. man. So if your dad is um, kind of traditional gentleman, okay. likes to be very smart, um, I'm thinking like a kind of... Well dressed? Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. George we, Clooney type. Yeah, so I'm thinking about George yeah, Clooney. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, but takes care of himself, but wants to smell classic. Yeah, okay. This is a great one. This is Declaration by Cartier. So here we go, a little look at that. Um, this was created back in 1998, mm. so it is a modern classic fragrance. Um, it was created by the perfumer Jean-Claude Eleanor, um, who actually works for Hermes now, mm. um, but at the time was a freelancer. Yeah. Um, he's quite a fate, I don't know if you know many he is. Um, perfumers by name, but he's quite a famous perfumer mm. in his own right, and he has a very specific style. He does, and um, one of the things that he often uses is cedarwood, mm. and that is what you can find a lot of in this fragrance. So, cedarwood is a, cl is a very classic is, smell, actually. Yeah. Let's have a spritz. Okay. This is one of uh, this is a real favourite of mine, um, and I think even though I'm saying classic gentleman, you know anyone can wear this fragrance oh, if they want to feel yeah. that kind of classic smell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it, it has cedarwood with the warmth and the dry down, mm. but the thing that you smell first is the fresh spices yeah, you do. and predominantly cardamom. Right. So cardamom has that. It's like a green cardamom. It's like spicy, yeah. fresh, uplifting, mm. um, invigorating, but still classic at the same time. Um, uh, just a little note on the name as well, because it would be lovely to give as a gift if you, um, you know, obviously I'm sure you love your dad and you want to <laughs> you want to show him how much you, you love him. This bottle actually is about a declaration of love. Aww. So it has a little heart shape in the glass at the top there, um, which is a nice little Aww, feature that sometimes people really don't nice. spot at first. Yeah. So really great choice for Father's Day. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, what sort of dad shall I talk about? Um, how about like a kind of... That was our classic gent, like yeah. a young, sporty... Okay, sporty um, dad. Yeah. Sporty dad. So, if we're looking for someone who maybe he wants something that smells a bit fresh, maybe goes to the gym or does mm. sports a lot, so he needs something that's energising, I think Lo de Si Pour Homme, but the fresh version. So this mm. is one, um, I know it doesn't say fresh on the bottle itself, but... Trust me, <laughs> this is the it's fresh It's the clear version. glass one, isn't it? Clear glass. And it was launched, uh, I want to say, February this yes. year. Yes, yeah. And it looks, um, to all intents and purposes, like the original, but it's got a much more, what we call, aquatic note. So this is, again, made to smell like the sea or the ocean or a, a sort of waterfall. Actually, it's another one of those icy cold it fragrances. Is. So when you spray this on, mm, you. you really get this instant sort of airiness, this rush of energy, refreshing note. Mm. It's got grapefruit in there, which smells quite mm, zingy smell and, and sharp and refreshing. Mm. And it's got some woody notes, a sort of earthy, smooth, green woody note called vetiver, which is actually the root of a grass. Mm. Um, I think this is lovely for somebody who maybe likes the classic Lodice, but wants something for the gym bag, or just something new to refresh their fragrance mm. wardrobe. Yeah, lovely, great nice fragrance. Um, I'm thinking now mm. about a different kind of guy. Okay. This is the kind of guy Let's swap. that wants to make a statement that wants to be a bit edgier. Mm -hmm. You're very kind of cool dad who wants people to ask, oh, what's right. that you're wearing? I've never heard okay. of that. So cool dad. Someone okay. who maybe is a bit of a perfume connoisseur already. You yeah, know. you know there are a lot now actually that gone are the days where we have guys who push their wives into stores. Well, I say gone are the days, 
let's say that more and more men nowadays are buying their own fragrance mm. and being more discerning about that fragrance mm. rather than pushing their wives or their mums or their sisters mm. into store to buy, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. And I think men are much more educated about fragrance brands and fragrance mm. families and things like that. So um, you might have a dad that you think, oh my God, he knows more than me about fragrance. <laughs> what the hell am I going to buy him? Um, so I would go towards a brand that's not as widely available. It's a little yeah. bit more exclusive. And that would be um, Serge Lutens. So the fragrance I've chosen from Serge Lutens it's called Serge Noir. It's quite dark and mysterious and smoky, mm. so perfect for your mysterious dad. Um, <laughs> let's have a smell of this one because this is, it's really beautiful. Um, here we go. I haven't smelt this for a long time, you okay. know, so I'm quite... So before I talk to you about the smell, I want to just mention a bit about the story Ooh. behind it and the name because so with Serge Fragrances, the thing that's key about it is that it's not just about the smell. Mm. So the name Serge Noir means, it's obviously a reference to Serge Lutin's name and the colour black. Um, so here he's talking about the fact that he launched this fragrance in the year that a very close friend of his, who was Mr Yves Saint Laurent, uh, yeah. passed away. And mm. in the visual for this fragrance, he's drawn a black tuxedo, which was obviously, Yves Saint Laurent was famous for the tuxedo. So it's kind of about his mourning right. for his friend. Yeah. Um, but it's also about a material, um, which is a fabric called serge, oh, which is a yeah. very kind okay. of scratchy cotton fabric. Mm. But, moving on from the story. None of this sounds that <laughs> appealing so far. Sarah. Moving on from the story, <laughs> to the smell, because the smell is also, if you're thinking about um, mourning, grieving, um, it's about a phoenix rising from the ashes. Okay, and so, I did wonder where you were going with this. Yeah, so this smell is ashy and smoky. It has a lot of sage, mm in it so it's aromatic yeah. but, but incensey it's a funny smell sage because it's not like you know lavender is an aromatic and we all know what that smells mm. like it's quite smooth and elegant but sage is much more of a challenging scent i yeah, find yeah it is much more intriguing definitely for you know this is not your kind of wallflower no, scent no. this is for someone that wants to make a statement and if they like the story and they like the idea to wear mm. something different it's a beautiful one yeah. but i'd go for you know there's lots in search yeah. town's range that you could choose but that's just <laughs> Just one of them. There is. Okay, so my the last one I'm going to go for is for a dad who maybe likes a stronger fragrance, mm. perhaps something that's going to last all day, something that is maybe more intense. There's been a real trend, hasn't Definitely. there? Definitely. Lately, in the past few years, for masculine fragrances to get more deep, more intense, um, stronger. And there's a great one from Dunhill called Dunhill Icon Absolute. It's in this rather opulent gold bottle here we go um, now this one we have talked in a previous video about icon in the silver bottle mm. um, this one is its kind of stronger brother um, it's got a really beautiful leathery dark woody note to it mm. with lots of black pepper yeah. I actually can smell immediately on first spray that's what I can smell the black pepper that's really kind of giving a, a kick to the fragrance if you like a it's real kind really of energy powerful. very powerful yeah. um, but it's got when it sort of calms down it's got a real smooth mm. elegant refined note um, actually of rose in here I know that mm. normally maybe we don't think in the western world of masculine fragrances having female flowers in them if, if you like yeah. rose is considered you know mm. quite a lady's flower in western culture but the rose in this, I think, just adds that real beautiful sort of under the under the surface sensuality mm, elegant, and smooth yeah. elegance. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then there's something called oud in here, which oud is a, a really deep, dark sort of mysterious wood, mm. which. Um, is very very popular nowadays as well yeah i really like this it, it's really gorgeous and the gold mm. bottle I is think, so yeah. luxurious it's a gorgeous bottle yeah okay um so that's our four choices for father's day hopefully it might give you some ideas um we wish you lots of luck in choosing a fragrance for your dad um let us know maybe what your dad wears or yeah. what you're going to buy for him or if you want to ask us for some advice leave your comments below mm -hmm. Um, please subscribe if please you haven't subscribe. already. Um, we want you to be up to date always on our videos. Yes. Um, and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.